Well, hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel, and thanks for joining me. Guess who went to the Goodwill Outlet bins? This girl. Do I like it? Not really. Uh, will I go back? Probably. Did I get some stuff? $11 worth. I'll show you when I get to it. Like eleven seventy seven or something like that. But, I hit up another Goodwill... Family Thrift, and one called The Love of Jesus. So, um, I've got some stuff to show you. It's actually Monday. I have to work to, uh, Tuesday, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done so y'all will have it for tomorrow, Tuesday, which is today. So, let's get on it. <coughs> the first thing I have to show you... <coughs> This is from Family Thrift. Yep, it's all still wrapped up. I'm really sorry to those that don't like it. Um, I go, I bring the stuff in, or today Yeti, my son, John Michael, helped me bring the stuff in. And I put it on the couch, and I start digging in and doing the video. So that's why I don't unpack if I unpack it, I want to put it away. So I hope you understand. If you don't like it, then just please just turn your volume down. Because there are some out there that do like to hear the rattle. I am sorry, but turn your volume down. And I'll wait for you to turn it back up if you want to when I unpack. Okay, you can turn it back up now. All right, so um, here's the price. I just like it. I thought it looked good. It would look good with my other little blue piece that I got. Uh, this was two ninety eight. My arm's starting to hurt. So I got that. I got this for dollar ninety nine. Nope, dollar ninety eight. And I already looked this up on YouTube, YouTube, eBay, and I can get anywhere from 15 to 20, 25 if I choose to sell it. So I got that. All right. Then I got these. Um, I have tons of these, but I kind of like the looks of some of them. I thought they looked really cute. So I just got them because of the set and I paid 99 cent. They are Christmas. They're the little spreaders. But you know what? You can use these. You can get a piece of, um, sorry, um, styrofoam. And you can poke the blade down into the styrofoam to make a little display, assemblage, whatever you want to call it. Um, so these are really cute. And you can put them at different, uh, different levels as well. They're already on a pick. So don't just think they have to be used as spreaders. They're cute. So two bucks for them. And then I got this. Whether I keep it or not, I don't know. I might give it to a friend. We will see. This is... Probably will keep it for me. Lipton of London Selected English Breakfast Tea Broken Orange Pico. And it's just a little tin. Which is cute. It's, you know, beat up. But I don't care. I don't even know if it'll open. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to give it too much of a try. Oh, here we go. Open it over a bag just in case. Maybe. Golly. It's gross. That's not. So, we got that. Um, 99 cent. All right. Now, I got this because I might sell it. It's 2000 so I think it just hit it. 
for being vintage. It's Or I can put it for display for Halloween. It doesn't matter. It's Grimace and the Hamburglar and Ronald and all the little pumpkins. And that looks like a chicken tender. So I got that for half of two twenty five. So I got that. Having issues with my arm. It's my muscle. And it's driving me crazy. Okay. Then. I got this. I don't know if it's vintage or not. Oh, poo. I let, oh, here they go. Thought I lost my scissors. Um, it, it looks vintage, but I don't know. They got it all taped up. It's the uh, Happy Hour Hardware. So, and it's all in the box, all taped up like a bunch of goobers. And this did not come from um, the bin of any, either. That's the last bag. It's a big old hefty bag. That's just because that's how they do it. They put the hefty bag in a tote, and the tote's on a scale. And that's how they do that. It's by the pound. I didn't read the sign very well to see if it were um, any special deals for other stuff. All right, let's open it up. See what we got in here. Watch it be a big old surprise. Oh, well, it's not. It's a glass... A glass, tongs, and a stirring spoon. Nothing else is in here. And I've got the glass from the Dollar Tree. It's okay. The ice tongs are nice. I don't have ice tongs, so I got them. And the long, the long spoon. I don't care. It's pretty cool. And it might be... I don't see a date on it or anything, but... Got that. Yeti went with me. I was so happy. I got these. I thought they were... I thought they were glass. They're not. They're plastic. But I paid half of four twenty five, dollars And I just like them. They are iridescent. You can see here. They're iridescent. I've got red ones and green ones. And I can do whatever I want with them. Right now, they're going to live in the she shed. Pretty pink one. And then the rainbow, a rainbowy one. I like them. I don't care that they're plastic. It's okay. All right, we got that. I'm running out of spots. All right. Next, I will go here. Three twenty-five half off. A molded Easter candle. Cute. Okay. And I got this is funny. So a while back, Thrill of the Thrift D thrifted this very same piece. I don't know how much she paid for hers. I paid four twenty-five for mine. I know it's vintage, but like her, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not because I loved this movie and it's a musical and I play it I played it when I got it. No it works. So the best line in the movie is love means never having to say you're sorry. And, um, 
I'm trying to think of the words. It's uh, the theme to love story is the song that they're playing. Um, how do I begin to tell the tale of a love so sad and then, I think. But it was uh, Ryan O'Neill and Ally McGraw. I think that was her name. And it's a great movie. If you haven't, uh-oh, don't, don't, don't. Shh, shh, shh. You hush, you hush. Okay, so we'll set her over there. And my son wanted this, Yeti. So it was half of 225. I told him I just bought one. So, but he wanted it, so I got it. Somebody gave him some homemade wine for Christmas, and he had, we didn't have a corkscrew. Then I got this piece, and I thought this would make the coolest tiered stand. Uh, 525, so, mm, and it was originally 999 at Home Goods. So I got it. I love this. I love this. And I've got the stand to put it on. It's so cute. Love it. Love it. Okay. Then, I got this. I believe at Family Thrift. Okay. This was $2.98. And it is Cracker Barrel. And it's a tiered stand. And it's got the word joy on it here. I don't know how much they paid for it. Because that's been peeled off. But... I thought kind of cute. Tiered stand. We'll see. We got that. Then I got this. This I paid five twenty five for. Big dummies. I'm taking the tape off. I guess you can see it. Now I'll wrap my finger up in the tape. This is an enamel pot. That's super, super cute. I love it. It goes with some of my other... Sorry, I'm getting the tape, more tape off. It goes with some of my other enamel. Um, it, it's okay with my Keep Calm Carry On teapot. But it's that's off white. This is pure white. And inside treasures. I got this. I don't need it, but I bought it for inventory for just in case. Um five twenty five half off. I have to look it up. Home. Y'all know who that's by. Made in China, dishwasher safe. So I got that. And then I got these. Which are so cute. And they will be fantastic. For um, Valentine's. But super cute. Perfect, perfect, perfect condition. Made in 92. The little chalkware cherubs. I thought they were precious. So we got them. And now, we're on to the bins. I have to be very careful. This I wasn't 100% sure about because uh, 1177 or something for everything I'm getting ready to show you now. Um, I held on to this one. It looks like it might be missing one, but that's okay. 
because I like it like this. <clears throat> I think it's cool. It'll be really good inside of a wreath. So, I like this. All right. So much stuff. I got this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or send it to my friend. It's not vintage, but it, um, 91, so it is, um, or keep it myself, I don't know. I don't really do tins. I love that. Super cool. Super, super cool. Um, time for Cracker Jacks. Just cute. We got that. And I got this for my 4th of July um, decor. Cute, cute. Remember that hat I showed y'all yesterday, the silver hat? That would look really cute sitting on top of this. This and this. <sighs> Pretty sure these came from... For the, uh, uh, yeah, for the love of Jesus. So this is $2, and this was $2. So I got the, another little rocking horse, because he's really super cute, in really good shape. Really cute. And this, which has a label on it. Can't read it. I'll turn it around to hang coffee mugs on or whatever I want. Ouch, it pinched me. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Come on, camera, focus up. Okay. So I got that for two bucks. I asked John Michael, I said, you know, I went straight to the the stuff for the hands. I said, don't you want to disinfect? Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Always disinfect. Then I got this. <clears throat> I just thought it was cute. TJ Maxx. Five bucks at TJ Maxx. It's got a door on it. Super cute, and it's in a box, so it's good for storage. Only one, but that's okay. I got it. All right, now what? Burner covers. So I got these. It's different scenes. Ow. There's one. And there's one. So they're cute. So I got that. I found this, which hangs. But I might turn it <clears throat> I might turn it into a tiered tray. Kind of cute in a tiered stand. We'll see. It's all faded and stuff. I don't know. I might keep it like that. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, guys. All right. Then I found this piece. How cool is this for a tiered stand? Nice. I like that. Very cool. Mm, I could even do it this way. And put this in. That's really cute. 
We'll see. We shall see. Ouch. Well, I can't get it over there. Hold on. There we go. So I got that. I got this little tin. It's Joy to the World. It looks like those thermoses that folks are collecting, but I have never seen one in the thrift stores. It's just super cool. I'm not a big thermos person, and I don't think I'm going to collect them. But, um, you know, I know my friends do. Um, I got these for crafting. Just little uh, foil boxes. I got this little fake holly candle ring. I got... It says they're favor boxes. I don't know why I got them, but I'll figure out. I'll paint them or something and do a craft with them. I thought they looked good. Maybe um, I'll open them up. I'll see what they look like. They might be good as like napkin uh, silverware holders. We'll see. And I found... Oh my goodness. I don't want to put it in my lap. I found this. Another molded candle. I find them all the time now. All the time. And I got... These two. I'm going to have a forest. This one, it actually has a couple broken points in it, but I see here is the what piece that's broken. And I might be able to put it back together, but otherwise I can just turn it around backwards. I have so many of them, it doesn't really matter that it's broken because it'll be hidden in the forest. Okay, we got that. And then I found this. And this isn't um, this is a replica, and I just thought it was cute. It's cream of wheat can. So I got the cream of wheat and Lipton and Cracker Jacks. These are cute, so I got those. All right, and then. I got this little trinket box. It's sprung. I don't know if I can unspring it, but um, I don't know. But it kind of looks like my other one that I have. My but that one's oval. And this is hold on. I don't know if I had it upside down or not. So I got that. And I got old timey ribbon for Christmas presents. Ribbon candy. Molded candle. I love it. Love it. I hit the jackpot on molded candles today. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five. I think five molded candles today. And I got this just because I thought it was cute. A little Christmassy. Then I got 
a mess. Okay. Now, now I'm out of the box now. I mean the bag, so that's empty. All right, so I got this, which is red velvet ribbon. It's number three. Um, corsage width. Waterproof. Yep, Christmas all day long. Um, I got this for 4th of July. Or Memorial Day, whichever. I got <laughs> this. I'm looking for a date. It's got a barcode. So I think somebody said if it has a barcode, it's not vintage. I'm not sure. But I just thought paper dolls. Um, Felicity's Paper Dolls. I don't even know. I didn't take the time to really look at them. They didn't weigh anything, so I just popped them in the... There's the little lamb. Felicity, an American girl. It has a story about Felicity. Um, Ancestor Envelope. And pop that back down in there. And it looks like they cut some out. They probably cut out Felicity. There's the little lamb. Oh, no, look. There's Felicity. Felicity Merriam grew up in the colony of Virginia, uh, Virginia. Oh. Just as America began fighting for independence from England. So there's Felicity. And here's her little all her little clothes. She's got a lot of little outfits. So eh. Felicity and her little lamb. Put her back in the box. I just got it. It didn't weigh anything. All right. And that's it. Oh, my gosh, 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. I hope y'all like what I got. I didn't, you know, I didn't do too bad for 11 bucks or 12 bucks at the bins. But now I get to put it all away. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all like the best in this haul. Um, my favorite is the wrought iron stand that can be turned into a um, tiered stand. That and the enamel pot. But y'all let me know what y'all like best. Until next time, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. Peace.